everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! We are still here figuring out how on earth we are going to piece the pieces of our black rat snake exhibit together. Thankfully, we've gotten a good start. Also, I just- oh look at it! Look at him! I had an egg and I made a little chick and I just- oh they're just so cute, I get really attached to them. Don't go too close to that thingy Mr. Chick, I don't know what it would do to you. Uh, I imagine nothing, but it makes a really annoying noise that drives me nuts, so you probably don't want to go near it too. Lily Tater's still doing good, our rattlesnakes and scorpion are well, our very large articulated python is well. You know, if you guys want to give these guys, like, real names, not just- because I don't think our articulated python has a name. Maybe that's what- oh, look how big he's gotten! Oh, how cool! I definitely think this one's a boy for some reason. Um, pretty sure we have a pair of- female and male, like a female male rattlesnake and that scorpion. Look, it got on top of the arch. That's so cool. But yeah, you guys had some names for the rattlesnakes, but maybe we'll like figure out some sort of fun way people can win naming the different animals in the zoo. That'd be fun, just like a little lottery thing. There you go, Mr. Chicken. Oh, he's so cute. Anyway, back on topic, which is so difficult in here sometimes. I have figured out how to make the dirt. We want to take some clay and make some dirt so this looks like, mmm, very, very, uh, tunnel-ish. Like, we're looking into a hole in the ground. And that doesn't really happen when you have the grass growing. At least, like, we might leave the grass there. But down here, I want the grass to go away. And I was trying to remember, how do you get brown dye? And I was like, oh yeah! Cocoa beans! Thank you for those of you who reminded me in comments. I had forgotten. So, let's see. <laughs> Cocoa beans? You were supposed to make brown dye, Cocoa beans! <laughs> Why did you betray me? Well, that was the concept. That was the idea. Is it just the cocoa beans themselves? Hmm. Or was it something else? Goodness, this is one of those embarrassing moments where you feel your Minecraft noobness showing through. <gasps> it worked! That's probably... Oh, we'll grab two. Okay, so you, you don't have to turn it into dye. It's just the cocoa beans themselves. That's really great! I don't want to use up too many of our cocoa beans, because they're also used to make cookies! And I would love to make a jar of cookies! That would be so yummy! And have cookies to snack on all the time. There's so many foods in the food mod we haven't even touched yet. Alright. Oh, and also, I remembered, we forgot to check Lily's purple backpack, which I haven't even emptied yet. We're gonna need, like, a plant station or something, a greenhouse for sure, because check all these out. Boom! These are a lot of plants. We want these roots. I want to see if I can replace them. Oh, wow. That's a pretty plant. <gasps> That's pretty, too. Look at the dark bushes. Oh, wow. And ground cover. And, ooh, twigs. Twigs would be good. And leaves would be good. Like, sprinkled around here. Oh, that would be so good. Ah, I love these plants. They make it so that we can have really cool exhibits. All right, we'll work on that next. Digging, like, I totally forgot to check Lily's backpack. And it's packed full of stuff. Wait, oi. Okay, there we go. Alright, first we're gonna empty that out. Apparently I'm magnetic and overflowing with dirt. That's okay. How's that clay look? Not bad, not bad. Wait. Dang it. Where's my pick? <laughs> Being magnetic can be a little bit annoying sometimes. Put that there. Um, I think we'll go a little bit further. Because then when people peer down... Yeah, even over here. It's all about making sure you get enough of the details, too. You don't want to skimp on the details. Alright, the roots. Can I put them under there? Okay, what about... Ooh, look at that! Oh, why can't I put you under a tree? That would be so cool if I could attach it to the bottom of a tree. Was that the chicken? Hey, little chicken dude! Oh, he's cute. I almost want to keep him somehow. Alright, so we put the roots in there. Let's see. Alright, let's get some of this dirt out of the way so we can pick up all these other blocks. Get them. Alright. Look at that! Oh, that root is just so cool! Hmm, I wonder. Maybe if we get a dirt block. Oops! I didn't want a dirt block way over there. There we go. And then slip down. Come around here. Ooh, yeah! Look at that! Looks kind of like the root is coming from the tree a little bit that way. Back up. Not so bad. Dark fern? Hmm. Light fern? 
Hmm. Actually, I kind of like that light fern. Yeah, put that there. What do the oak saplings look like just tossed down? Eh, not horrible, but just not the best, not the best decorative bit that we could probably offer up. So this is going to be for a black rat snake, and the general idea is that Mr. Black Rat Snake, all right, let's toss. You're good, you're good. Get you out of the way. Yeah, get all you out of the way. Move you down. There we go. The general idea is that the black rat snake is going to be in an apple orchard. And that will make very fat, happy snakes because the apple orchard will be, you know, full of apples, which will attract prey items, uh, which is going to attract some larger species. Ooh, that is pretty. Let's let you shine. Get that grass out of the way. Same thing with those flowers. Um, Alright, what else should we put up there? Where's Lily's backpack? There we go. I mean, look at all this stuff. Clover, twigs, leaves. There's shrubs, squat bushes. That would probably be a good thing to have. Don't need the pears. Ooh, actually the green leaves are better than the brown leaves. The dark grass might make good ground cover. A white turtle head. That sounds pretty cool. Those dead bushes probably would have been good over in our other area. Let's see. Wheat grass, damp grass. Maybe damp grass? Uh, temporarily. Let's see. Let's swap out. Yeah, there we go. Kneeling Angelica. I'll swap that for the pink daisies. Dead nettle. Ooh, that sounds cool. <gasps> Ooh, bright grass ground cover. Hmm. There's just so much. I know this may seem like some really mundane things to you guys, and I apologize. But I promise, this is just so much, like, fun for me. And it's important for our animals. I can't stress that enough. We've got to give them a proper variety. Hmm. Oops. Uh-oh. It's almost dark. Lily, Tate, you guys doing good? Yeah, you're doing good. <laughs> Look, it's our little chicken. Hang in there, little dude. You can hang out here in the reptile house. I don't think that bodes well for you, really, but... Alright, let's pop in here. So black rat snakes can get pretty big. We're talking several feet. I've, and they love to hang out in trees sometimes. <laughs> Usually when they're trying to get out of a shed. Snakes, for those of you who don't know, shed their skin. Uh, it just kind of, their outer layer of their skin gets very loose. We shed our skin all the time and it becomes dust. Look at those roots. That looks awesome. Let's see. You know what we need in here before I get really serious about putting stuff down? Let's put twigs somewhere we can see. Oh, there's our little chicken. He is really quite the bold explorer. Look at you glow, little chicken. I like you. Maybe I'll add you to our farm. That'd be a long way to walk, but I don't mind. I don't mind for a cutie pie such as yourself. Do I like that? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's see, what about green leaves? Man, those are just nice decorative touches. I really can appreciate... Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. You can hardly see it with all this. It's a little much on the grass here. Let's see, let's move the ground cover. Like, there. Like, I want some grass, but some of this is just excessive. Scoochy shrub back here. Oh, hey, it's a potato. I don't suppose you want a potato. No? Okay. You can be that way. Might as well put the potato away to eat for later. And then, you know, I think what we're going to do is we're going to come over to these spruce wood trees. Thank you very much, tree. And we're going to shave off some of their leaves and use their leaves as decorative items. Decorative bushes. Oh, hello, Mr. Pig. You may very soon become my dog's lunch. In fact, I think it's about time. I'm sorry. Thank you for your contribution. Oh, drat. I'm full. Toss that flower. We'll feed the puppies. Toss the potato. Raw beef. Alright, let's go. But yeah, very nice, calm. I've really, I've never been, I've never felt threatened by black rat snakes. That's kind of the bottom line, too. They're just, they're, they do their own thing. One time we saw, like, one that could easily have been about six to seven feet hanging out in a tree in our backyard. And my mom does not like snakes. So unfortunately, this was not uh, okay with her. 
I'm trying to get a little bit of a view. Eh. You know, I want to take these shrubs out. Because I feel like they don't match. And actually, I'm going to take these guys out too. Oh no! What happened? I got stuck. That was odd. Wait. What is going on there? What an odd little spot to get stuck in. Let's swap out Lily's backpack. Put some of these things away. Seeds. Uh, tall bush. Spruce leaves. I kind of want to put... Let's pick you guys up. Shrubs, put you away. Sorry this is taking so long. It's just really tricky when you're trying to make sure that you're putting all of your precious things in the right spots. Yeah, that grass looks pretty cool. I kind of want to move this twig. Move it like over here, maybe. More like closer to the tree. Kind of right there. And actually, that was kind of cool having a twig over in this area. So let's put that there. Um, yeah, right there. Kind of looks like the tree fell down a little bit. And then I want some more damp grass kind of scattered around. There we go, there we go. Trust me, it's going to come together. I know it's not making much sense right now. But it is going to come together. What? What? Oh, I guess you're going to be very picky because you're a wetlands plant, huh? Well, maybe the kneeling angelica. Yeah, look, the kneeling angelica wants to play. It's behaving. Whoops. Down the hole. We might as well add the stream so we can start figuring out how that's going to affect things. Oh, hi there. You know, I really want to give you a name now, Mr. Chicken. Though I can't tell if it's a boy or girl. The chickens in Minecraft are usually a little bit... How are we doing on hunger? Oh, hush. Let's check the tape. Oh, I'm hungry. I don't know about you guys. You guys are doing kind of good, but I'm going to feed you. Uh, I don't want to eat a raw potato. I'll eat a chicken sandwich. But yeah, it would be fun. Oh, yeah. And you guys, I thought about it. And a great way that we can get uh, I, like animals that we cannot normally tame, like our crocodiles, is that we could use that custom NPC spawner again and like set up crocodile egg spawn thingy uh, is like so many diamonds. And we'll say it's like good for one use or something. I think that would work out like really well for what we want it to do too. And I want to put the squat bush over where. I'm going to put the stream. I'm going to put the stream. Right there. Should I, should I boost that a little bit? I think the stream needs a little more water. Don't worry. This is all going to come together fast. That's my little infinite whale. Well, well. Ugh. It'd be cool if I could have whales. Alright. There's a little stream in the forest. Hmm. I think I'm going to move you. Yeah, actually, this looks better when it's just, like, kind of simple colors. Not too many of the complicated colors. Just nice, simple coloring. Uh, the purple was a little too bright. But the wild carrot should be okay. And broadleaf meadowsweet. That should be good. There we go. Even a western bullflower. We could probably sneak one of those guys in just fine. I do want to make, let's see, dun, 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 dun. Boink. yeah, and then wild carrots kind of sprinkled about, sprinkle, 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 wild carrots, Oh, what a nice little place, I like the little hole in the ground with the roots a lot too, I wonder if we should... Expand it a little bit. Put dirt. Whoops. Yeah, I didn't actually. I didn't mean to do that. Where'd my root go? <gasps> I destroyed my root. Whoops. There we go. Put you there. Put you there. I should put. Yeah, let's put you. Mm. Dang it. Destroyed the root again. Gotta be careful with these guys. They can only be picked up by shears. Noted. Put you back there. There. That's not so bad at all. 
But yeah, we've got lots of things we got to get around to getting uh, to doing pretty soon. We're going to go on ocean adventures. If we're going to use custom NPCs, I would love to find a village first so that we can like say, oh, he moved in from this village, but I haven't seen a village in any of the places we've gone. We still have to go to the nether. I really like that chicken. Still have to go to the nether uh, to collect. Let's see, broccoli from Meadow Sweet. Where am I going to put you? Ooh. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. I don't think we'll have to decorate it too much more after this. Anything else? No, no. Oh, desert flowers. I forgot about those. Hmm. Yellow, wheatgrass, maybe. Normal grass, probably. All right. Let's get up top. I need to shear off the top of the trees. And actually, I might be able to use... See, they, gr they got too tall. We have to prune our trees. Get over here, trees. Get over here. Ah. What do you think you're doing, huh? Oh, oh that's right. Our axe broke. Dang it. Ugh, stop that. The shrubs, they're being stubborn. Alright, let's see. Is that enough? No, I need to go down one more. Dang it, you guys. Don't be so delicate. And I'm I'm really enjoying the challenge of having to reforest all of these trees too. Reforest, is that even what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, apple leaves. Boink. Just have to take off the top layer of this one. There we go. Let's hop down. Nice relaxing music. So do you guys go out in, in nature a lot? I imagine most of you who watch probably enjoy animals and nature in some way. Some of you have told me about how you want to like become biologist in the future, which is really cool. It was a career choice that has always been the first thing in my heart. Uh, and I did end up going into nursing instead. I'm, I'm a nursing student right now. But that is because I kind of needed more money. Uh, than what biology can provide me, but the plan, actually, is to become a nurse and make money and volunteer all my free time at being like a science educator and a nurse, and that is a really sad tree. Look at that tree. Oh, it looks so sad with its naked little top. All right, let's decorate the bottom. There, that should hold. All right. Yeah, not too much more. I think we'll put some grass kind of scattered about. Um, I thought I was going to decorate this a little bit more with flowers. Alright, let's get inside in just a second. I don't want to be out here in the dark. I hope our chicken does okay. Lily and Tate are fine. They actually seem to be kind of bored. They're being guard dogs, don't worry. And then, you know what, guys? I think in just a second we're going to start putting down the first layer of grass and putting down our black tree rats, er, black, black rats, black tree snake, black rat snake. There we go, black rat snake. You know, after I build, build a, an axe and take care of that, that's just, that's just silly. Ah, uh, that tree's okay. I think I'm going to build a little bush, bush thing, like right here. Put you down. Wow, weird. A spruce leaf got stuck there. Okay. Yeah, there we go. A little bush thing to kind of finish it up. I think we should probably replace a couple more of these with... Let's see. Last brown. We'll make a couple more of those. Any more flowers? We might have to just save some of these for when we find... Let's see. Bright grass. Dark vine. Leafy bush? Dark bush, maybe? You wanna come- you wanna come join the party, dark bush? Boom. Yeah? Actually, you would look really good. Right... there. Yeah! Check that out. Hmm... Let's put down a couple spots. 
Maybe another stone or two to signify more rocks kind of sprinkled about. It's amazing how changing just one block can change. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I put stones. Yeah, I put stones in there. Um, did I need more oak leaves, please? Pardon, excuse me. Thank you very much for the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're good? Got him? Everybody coming to me? Good. Alright, let's make an axe real fast. Never mind. I already have one prepared because we're that good. And then we'll get ready. Lily Tate, we're gonna have more into the snake house. Snake house is going nice and fast. But yeah, have you, do you guys go out in the forest a lot? Do you enjoy being in the forest? Personally, I love it. Hmm, where to put a rock? I think we'll put... Like a little boulder. There, boom. It's a little boulder. Kind of hiding back there. And we'll stick a little... Little bush, little fern. Little fern there. Doink. Eh, why not? I think I might switch the side the boulder's on, though. And then... That'll give the snake something to climb onto. Mm, should I do... Yeah, there we go. That's better. Maybe... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. 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 There, I'm done. It's a, it's a freaking rock. <laughs> it should not take me that long to decide how to display a rock. Hmm. Okay, let's put the leaves down. Are you going to contrast too much? You are. That's okay. I don't want you to grow apples on, like, a bush that's supposed to be on the ground anyway. <laughs> Black rat snake, I hope you enjoy your exhibit. They are a nice foresty sort of wall. Nice little river. Still a lot more open area than I think the snake would prefer, but it does like trees, and it has like these shrubby things that we can pretend it hides in when it wants to. So let's go ahead, cut off the top of the tree. Hopefully tree capitator won't decide to be helpful. And chop the whole thing down, which we don't want. Alright, tree. You need pruned. There's one. There's the next. Don't you dare start despawning on me. Let's see. Don't be silly. There you go. Do I have any apple tree saplings? We gotta, we have to fix that. That's not gonna, that's just not gonna do. There we go, we'll grow an apple, whoops, no, come back, back, back. We'll grow an apple tree really quick. Quick. So that we can get a couple more leaves and fix the very sad, pathetic looking. Thank you very much, apple tree. The very sad, pathetic looking tree that we like sheared. It's very hard to prune a tree. I, I tried to read, like, I was trying to be all fancy pantsy and like, oh, I'm really interested in, in horticulture and things like that once. And so I, I like read one of those horticulture magazines that you can see in libraries. And it was so over my head so fast. It kept talking about like tree topping and different shadowy places to plant your trees. And basically, I learned. What I've always known in my heart, that gardening is a lot harder than it is in Harvest Moon. And that is probably why many of my things tend to die. <laughs> Still working on being a good real life gardener. But personally, I think I'm quite the savvy Minecraft gardener. Look at that. Alright, let's go get our egg. Let's put it in here. Let's put down our line of glass and then we will be able to welcome... In fact, let me get a good... Oh, look at that. Yeah. Very pretty. Then we'll be able to welcome our next snake. 
But yeah, crocodile exhibit, I really want to work on very soon, too. Let's see, glass, the glass border. Uh, let's put the cobblestone away. Let's put the stone away. Get the glass panes out. Plants. Get in there, plants. Fill it up. Uh, potato, you're kind of a plant. You go in there, too. The skeleton skulls will be fun to save for the cobra exhibit. We are going to build a cobra exhibit and a coral sea snake, a uh, reef snake, like a coral reef snake exhibit. So it'll have water and coral and things, which means no ocean expedition, Tate and Lily. It's actually pretty good that we're doing something as complicated as the snake exhibit first, because it means that we're having to go, let's see, do I have, dang it, I need to go get limestone. It means that we have so many complicated, uh, or so many different habitats. All right, come here, dark snake A. And let's see, that's not enough. Where's my pile of limestone? Here it is. I just need to change it. Boink, boink, just like that. It means that we have several habitats that we have to deal with, so we've traveled extensively. We know where to gather the resources now. We know how to gather the resources now. Whoops. Um, there we go. Alright, there we go. And just to be safe, let's put down this first line of glass so nobody can escape. Eh, there we go. Missed that one. Boink. Nice solid line. And sneak time. Baby sneak time! Baby sneak time! Gonna get a nice little picture. <gasps> what was that? Eee! Come on, baby rat sneak! Look at this pretty little exhibit you have! This is actually really nice for you. All the flowers. Whoops! Dang it, I hate it when I accidentally pick it back up. You can do it, buddy. Oh! <gasps> Dang it! <laughs> That's it! I'm standing over here. You want to hatch. Don't be shy. You want to come out into the world. Let's see. Let's try. Eh, dang it. Hate wasting glass like that. Boink. Whoops. That didn't work. Man, thank you guys. That clay looks really good. Come on. You can do it. Little rat snake. Little rat snake. Welcome to the world, little rat snake. <gasps> there we go. All right, let's try black rat snake. Well, black rat works, but it's a black rat snake, but we're in the snake's exhibit, so. <gasps> Look at you! You're so tiny! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Look how small it is! Look how cute it is! This is perfect! Oh, this exhibit is actually perfection for you. Just look at you! Look at you! Oh! Oh, if I could- I'm just- Ah! Uh, it's easy to fall in love with- whoops! With the critters that you are in charge of, you know what I mean? Oh, that makes me happy. I like that snake. I like that snake a lot. Let's back up. Yeah. Let's make sure that it doesn't escape by putting down another line of glass real fast. Do, 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 do. No escaping for you, my little friend. You're safe inside there. I promise. Hmm. Hmm. I need to go make more. I'll be right back. Oh, look at it explore. It's going across its little log. It's climbing across its log. Oh, I like that snake. Oh, but when every time the sun sets, it reminds me that we barely have anything in terms of heat and, and light for it. I mean, what if something spawned and killed it? I would be so sad. So, yeah, a trip to the nether is going to be important pretty soon. I've just never been. Hmm. Hmm. But I have to get glowstone. Whoops. Need to use my crafting table real fast. Pretty soon we might build our little, uh, we might move some of these, like, resources right here. And scooch them into the room that we're going to be using. Put that there. And whoops. Oh, hey. I forgot about that glass. Might as well while we're here. Wait. 
There, nice and even. Look at that. Lots of glass panes. Borderless. Borderless. Anyway, yeah, we might move our supplies in here pretty soon. But I just realized I've kept you guys for a super long time. However, we have finished the black rat snake exhibit. It looks really nice. Our little black rat snake, which is somewhere in here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, baby? <gasps> there you are! Is enjoying its exhibit clearly. Oh, look how cute it is! They're very harmless. They're really sweet. I'll tell you more about these guys in a little bit. In a little bit, because it's time to let everybody go, huh? Yeah, it is. All right, guys, we will see you later. We are welcoming yet another one of our zoo residents here to the zoo. Slowly but surely, the mega projects that we've taken on are coming together, and we're remembering that it's all about sharing our zoo with these awesome creatures. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.